Welcome to Allegro Industries. I'm Allegro Al, and I will be demonstrating some of Allegro's great new products. I will also be providing procedural instruction to ensure your safety. Smoke Fit Test Procedure Smoke Qualitative Fit Test Instructions Part Number 2050 Standard 2055 Deluxe Pump Understand all the instructions before using this product. Warnings Do not generate smoke into a hood, tent, or any other confinement placed over the head of the subject. Serious injury can occur. Use only well-ventilated areas. The test administrator should avoid breathing the smoke directly and wear respiratory protection if the smoke cannot be avoided. Extended exposure to high concentrations of smoke may cause injury. Precautions. Smoke can be irritating to the eyes, lungs, and nasal passages. Always minimize the subject's exposure to irritant smoke. Sensitivity varies, and certain individuals may respond to a greater degree to irritant smoke. To prevent exposure to the person conducting the fit test or buildup of irritant smoke in the general atmosphere, the fit test must be conducted in a well-ventilated area. Not all respirators are designed to protect the wearer from irritant smoke. Consult the respirator manufacturer. Part number 2050. The Allegro Qualitative Standard Smoke Fit Test Kit includes one aspirator bulb with 4-inch tubing, one box of six stannic chloride tubes, six smoke tube caps, one four and a quarter inch tubing, one tube breaker, and one tube storage pouch. Setup. Preparation for the 2050 Smoke Fit Test Kit. Remove the contents from the storage pouch. Remove the smoke tube from the box. Insert into the tube breaker. Twist the tube full circle to score and break off the tip. Insert the broken end of the smoke tube into the 4-inch tubing on the air bulb. Insert the unbroken end of the smoke tube into the tube breaker. Twist the tube full circle to score and break off the tip. Insert the smoke tube into the 30-inch tubing. Part number 2055. The Allegro Qualitative Deluxe Pump Smoke Fit Test Kit includes 1 smoke tube pump, 4 AA batteries, 1 box of 6 stannic chloride tubes, 6 smoke tube caps, 1 4 and a quarter inch tubing, 1 30 and a quarter inch tubing, and 1 tube breaker. Setup. Preparation for the 2055 Smoke Fit Test Kit. Remove the contents from the storage box. Install the AA batteries and turn it on briefly to test. Install the 30-inch piece of tubing onto the pump's hose barb. Remove a smoke tube from the box. Insert it into the tube breaker on the pump. Twist the tube full circle to score and break off the tip. Insert the broken end of the tube into the 4-inch tubing. Insert the unbroken end of the smoke tube into the tube breaker. Twist the tube full circle to score and break off the tip. Insert the smoke tube into the 30-inch tubing. Fit Test Procedure the subject should have been instructed through an orientation explaining why and what type of respirator is needed. The test subject should not eat, drink, or chew gum for 15 minutes before the test. Explain to the subject that there are two tests given. Explain test to the subject. Sensitivity test. This test assures the person being tested can detect smoke at a very low level. Inform the subject that smoke can be irritating to the eyes, lungs, and nasal passages. The subject will be allowed to smell a weak concentration of smoke. If the subject cannot detect the irritating properties of the smoke, another method of fit testing must be used. Fit test. Once established smoke can be detected, the subject will begin the fit test. The subject will be asked to don a respirator, do a series of light exercises, and read a short paragraph. Sensitivity test. Instruct the subject to close their eyes while the testing is performed. For kit 2050, squeeze the aspirator bulb once. For kit 2055, turn on the pump long enough to generate a small amount of smoke. Then turn the pump off. With your hands, carefully direct a small amount of smoke towards the subject's direction. If smoke is detected, the fit test procedure can be conducted. If smoke is not detected, another method of fit testing must be used. Fit test. The smoke fit test is performed using HEPA or P100 series filters. Instruct the subject to indicate if there is a detection of smoke at any time during the test. Have the subject on the respirator and instruct the subject to close their eyes. Standard fit test, kit 2050. 
Using the aspirator squeeze bulb, direct a stream of irritant smoke toward the face seal area of the subject. Fully squeezing the aspirator squeeze bulb once every 20 seconds, approximately 200 milliliters per minute. Deluxe Pump Smoke Test Kit 2055. Turn on the pump and direct a stream of irritant smoke toward the face seal area of the subject. The pump generates the required 200 milliliters per minute. Move the smoke stream around the whole parameter of the mask. Begin at least 12 inches from the face piece. Gradually make two more passes around the perimeter of the mask, moving to within 6 inches of the respirator. Proceed with the test exercises if the subject has not had an involuntary response and or detected irritant smoke. Each test exercise shall be performed for one minute. The exercises are performed as the respirator seal is being continually challenged. Smoke is directed around the respirator at a distance of 6 inches. Test exercises. Normal breathing. Deep breathing. Turning the head side to side nodding the head up and down, talking or reading out loud. The rainbow passage is suggested, bending over, and normal breathing. The test has failed if smoke is detected. The entire procedure must be repeated with a different respirator. A second sensitivity test will be given to the subject, passing the fit test without evidence of an involuntary response. Remove the respirator. Use the same smoke tube from the fit test. Failure to evoke a response will void the fit test. The subject has passed the fit test if a response is produced during the second sensitivity test. The latest revision of OSHA 29 CFR 1910.134 has unified all fit test exercises. Some slight differences exist when testing traditional style respirators versus filtering face piece style respirators. Check the OSHA standard before conducting the fit test exercises. Remove the smoke tube from the aspirator bulb or pump. Cap both ends. Discard according to MSDS. Store the unused tubes in a cool, dry, secure place.